Hi everybody, Michelle Kunz here. I have another video for you today. Today we're going to talk about popular cardiac medications. We're going to talk about beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, and ACE inhibitors. Now these are very popular drugs. I think almost everybody is on one of them. And nurses really need to know about categories of cardiac medications and how they interact and how they act on our patients. So this is a brief overview, but we should always be looking up our medications before we actually give it. So let's talk about uh, beta blockers first. So just the fact that it's blocking beta stimulation. So I remember that beta 1 and there's a beta 2. Now beta 1 is for beat. So if you block beta 1, you'll slow down the beat. That's how I remember that. And beta 2 is bronchodilation. Now if you block bronchodilation with a beta blocker, you might get bronchoconstriction, which might not be good for your patients, especially if they have a history of asthma, or emphysema, and COPD. So we have to be careful with beta blockers. And sometimes there are medications that are ordered specifically for patients that have respiratory diseases that are beta-1 specific, so they only act on the beat. So we'll mention some of those drugs in just a second. So we have uh, beta blockers, and when you block beta, it decreases your heart rate, it decreases your blood pressure, it, it decreases um, heart rate and blood pressure, and it does block that dilation. So there's three important things there. Some uh, popular names for those drugs uh, that are non-selective are Cardivel Carvedilol and Labetalol and Sotalol. Some of the beta-1 specific drugs that are also very popular is Esmolol, Metropolol, and Atenolol. So those are safe for emphysemic or COPD patients. The next category I'd like to talk about is calcium channel blockers. <clears throat> calcium channel blockers are very popular for using, using in patients with AFib and a flutter and other arrhythmias also. They decrease your heart rate. They decrease the arterial blood pressure very well. They also decrease the force of contraction in your heart. So calcium channel blocker is a negative inotrope and a negative chronotrope. So if you've never heard those vocabulary words before, inotrope stands for muscle, so think of it as the strength of contraction. It actually reduces or limits the contraction. A chronotrope, think of chronological as in time or rate. So beta blockers are a negative, I'm sorry, calcium channel blockers are a negative chronotrope or it will decrease your heart rate. They also decrease conduction also, and I know that that might slow down hearts as well. Now some of the popular drugs that we know are Cardiazem, Verapamil, Norvasc, which is Amlodipine, Procardia or Nifedipine, and Cardine or Nicardipine. So those are popular calcium channel blockers used for arrhythmias and blood pressure and heart rate. Another category we're going to talk about is ACE inhibitors. These drugs are specifically used for lowering blood pressure and they're popular uh, for CHF type of patients. ACE inhibitors, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. So you remember the renin angiotensin system? Angiotensin 1 converts to angiotensin 2 with the renin hormone. So this medication stops that conversion. So it's very effective in keeping your blood pressure low. Some popular drugs are enalapril, which is also called Vasotec, uh, Captopril, which is Lisinopril, uh, Quinopril, which is, which is Actopril. So it's very important to know some side effects of this drug because they can be dangerous. So when a patient starts taking an ACE inhibitor, they should also be taught, or always be taught, about side effects. One of the side effects is developing a cough. 
which is actually a symptom of angioedema, which is, could be severe swelling of the airway. So that could be an emergency. So patients are taught that when they start the medication, but that symptom might not happen for months or even years later. When that does happen, um, hopefully patients will remember to tell their physicians or practitioner, and they'll be switched from an ACE inhibitor to an angiotensin receptor blocker, or an ARB. Very similar drug, uh, similar effects for the blood pressure and good, and good side effects that way. Um, less side effects um, for airway problems. So those are um, three very popular drugs or types of drugs that our patients are on and we should be familiar with them with their side effects and how they work on our patients. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you get to see my other videos. I hope you even subscribe to my YouTube page and thank you. I'll see you soon.